Mahantur, the Bharatif, is a name fondly used by the devotees to address Lord Krishna. Many names associated with Lord Krishna or with any god for that matter in Hinduism are deeply symbolic. Here we discuss why Lord Krishna is called as Mahantur, the Bharatif. To listen to the story of sweet little Krishna during the eighth incarnation of Lord Vishnu, we must go back in time to the age of Dwapar Yuga, to the little hamlet Gokul located on the banks of Yamuna River. Krishna was growing in Gokul as the younger son of Nanda, the village head. Yashoda, the foster mother of Krishna and the wife of Nanda, was deeply attached to Krishna and gave a royal life to Krishna. Krishna was so cute and effulgent and looked far different from any regular child. His mesmerizing personality and the miraculous powers revealed that he could be none other than the incarnation of God. The main occupation of the people of Gokul was dairy farm. Every household in the village had several cows. The reason was fertile and the cows gave a lot of milk and the households overflowed with milk, curds, butter and ghee. Krishna was fond of butter. Krishna was not the son of Nanda's family alone. He was the darling of every household in the village and also beyond. In order to bring Krishna to their homes, the people of Gokul and Vrindavan store a lot of butter in their homes. Krishna mischievously stole butter from their homes but was never to be caught. However, the incident of stealing butter carried a deep spiritual symbolism. The ladies of the households in Gokul were called as Gopikas. They were deeply in reverential adoration of Lord Krishna and spent all their days in Krishna's thought. In fact, some mythological and Puranic references say that the gods and sages who wanted to enjoy the divine place of Lord Vishnu descended to the earth during Krishna avatar and became Gopikas. The story of the divine love between Krishna and Gopikas is enamoring and uplifting. Krishna moved about the village playfully, performing his several divine plays to delight and enlighten the folk in Gokul and sowed the seeds of divine love in their hearts.